with over 100 different roller coasters opening in 2023, including a few that could become a number one potential coaster, what are the best ones? Get ready because here are the top 10 roller coasters that will be opening in 2023. Starting off, number 10, the world's first B&M shuttle coaster. The UK's Chessington Worlds of Adventure is gearing up to open a roller coaster that has never been seen before. A launched shuttle B&M wing coaster that will offer a very cool reverse spike and some low to the ground turns with one long barrel roll inversion. Now the great thing about a shuttle coaster is that you get to go forwards and backwards through the layout, so you are going to be able to experience everything twice. Overall, this new Jumaji themed roller coaster looks epic and I cannot wait to learn more about it. Number 9. Big Bear Mountain at Dollywood And the truth is, I did have Dollywood's new for 2023 Vacoma coaster just on the outside looking in on this top 10. But now, with the newly released POV, I got to admit, Big Bear Mountain looks like a ton of fun. Not only does it appear to be much larger in the construction photos, you're looking at a roller coaster that doesn't seem to ever want to end. Big Bear Mountain will feature just under 4,000 feet of track with three different launches. Dollywood's new roller coaster will be a huge hit for families of all thrill seekers and I'm very excited to ride this come spring of 2023. Now if you're looking for the perfect holiday gift, then be sure to head over to themeparkmerch.com and check out all of my coaster merch that I designed myself. This coaster gear is perfect to wear while you're visiting the parks. Number 8. Zambezi Zinger Worlds of Fun While a family coaster, Worlds of Fun's new GCI wooden coaster will offer a good amount of Titan track, which is steel track that will provide Zambezi Zinger to offer a very smooth and comfortable ride experience. This will become the park's first new roller coaster since Prowler opened in 2009. So Worlds of Fun is way past due and I predict that Zambezi Zinger will be a sleeper hit within the 2023 coaster class. The next roller coaster on the list is in my opinion a very odd choice for the park but it does have me very intrigued at the same time I gotta say. Number 7. Pipeline the Surf Coaster located at SeaWorld Orlando When rumors started to circulate that SeaWorld Orlando was about to open a brand new stand-up coaster, I instantly thought, why? There are so many better coaster types that would be a better fit for SeaWorld Orlando than this. Fast forward to late summer and SeaWorld Orlando announces Pipeline the Surf Coaster, the first ever surf coaster from B&M. Now this is going to be a launch coaster that features a 60 mile an hour launch that includes a bunny hill and then a 110 foot tall overbank curve. The rest of Pipeline's layout offers one inversion, some great transitions, and other elements that will make for a very fun experience. Now what I am most intrigued with when it comes to Pipeline is obviously the trains, because they're going to feature new technology bringing the stand-up coaster to an all new thrill level. Number 6 the enormous mock Big Dipper that's going to be opening at Europa Park. While there is no official name for this insane looking roller coaster at the time of this video, Germany's Europa Park did register the name Voltron Coaster for this project, which in my opinion is a pretty awesome name for a coaster. This new mega coaster will feature 4,544 feet of track, which is just enormous, plus multiple inversions and a height of 105 feet. Judging by the concept artwork, Voltron Coaster, or whatever it's going to be called, looks like it's going to become the best coaster at Europa Park when it opens. Number 5. Wildcats Revenge Hershey Park Now it's pretty obvious that this beautiful park located in Pennsylvania is on a roll and all it needs to become a world class park is to work on their operations. Hopefully having a new shiny RMC hybrid will push Hershey Park into the world class territory because Wildcats Revenge looks sick and I personally think it will become the best coaster at Hershey when it opens. Standing at a height of 140 feet, Wildcats Revenge will take riders through four inversions at speeds of 62 miles an hour. You are also going to experience over 3,500 feet of twisted track. Now I know I might be one of the few, 
but I feel as if Wildcat's Revenge could definitely be a top tier RMC when it opens. If you're enjoying the video, then I really hope you consider becoming the newest Theme Park Prediction subscriber. And if you have a second, please give this video a like. Every like really does help the channel and the performance of the video, so I appreciate each one. Now, let's flip back into the top 10. The last RMC on the top 10 best roller coasters opening in 2023 belongs to Fun Spot Atlanta, Airy Force One. While this coaster was supposed to open in 2022, we now get to experience this amazing looking coaster in just a few short months. And with the stat line of 3,400 feet long, 155 foot tall lift hill, four inversions, including a beautiful looking stall, and speeds of 64 miles an hour, just like Wildcat's Revenge, you are looking at a roller coaster that could become one of the best RMC creations to date. And I still cannot wrap my head around this little park around 20 minutes south of Six Flags Over Georgia is actually building a massive $13 million roller coaster. I hope you like airtime because I think Air Force One will deliver some of the best yet. Number 3. Totatus, located at Park Asterix. This is Intamin at their finest. You are looking at one of the best roller coasters in all of Europe, and quite possibly the entire world. This ride looks insane, and it's going to feature 3,526 feet of track, a 167 foot tall top hat, 23 airtime points, and so many other elements that one word would describe, and that would be perfect. How I am analyzing this creation is Pantheon on steroids. I honestly feel as if we are witnessing what could become the best roller coaster in the world when it opens. Now it's time for another Intamin coaster. Number two. Gotham City Escape, located at Parque Warner Madrid. Now, since everyone loves Velocicoaster, rightfully so, then everyone needs to keep their eye on this new Intamin that is very Velocicoaster-like. But more importantly, the underrated Parque Warner Madrid will be adding their first major new coaster to the park. And the crazy thing is, this park opened in 2002. Yes. 21 years going by with no major new coaster, so it's safe to say that Gotham City Escape is well worth the wait and I cannot wait to see the POV when the park releases it. And now, the number one most anticipated new roller coaster that will be opening in 2023, and that is Wild Mouse and the new restaurant that is opening at Cedar Point. Okay, okay, the real number one will be a park over a roller coaster and that's because this park is planning on opening two great looking coasters in 2023. Number one, Palindrome and Circuit Breaker located at Cataland in Texas. This up and coming park is planning on opening their new Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster probably come spring and this coaster does look very intriguing in my opinion. But the best news of all is in fall of 2023, the park announced that they will be building the ever impressive Circuit Breaker, an all new Vacoma Tilt roller coaster. Now we know that Energylandia is rumored to be getting a tilt coaster as well, but at the time of this video, we don't know much about it, and there's a chance it may not even open in 2023. But judging by Circuit Breaker's layout, this new coaster will need to be on everyone's bucket list, at least here in America. And I, for one, am so thrilled and excited that America gets a new Vacoma coaster, something that I've wanted here in America ever since Let Coaster open at Legendia. Now take a look at this layout. This thing looks phenomenal. Not only is there a bunch of inversions, but just some of the transitions look so good. And that's not even the highlight of the ride, the tilt track element. Not only will this provide riders with an experience that they've never felt before, it will also really provide a great free fall feeling. And this is the type of coaster that people will sit there and just watch it and say, what the hell? A great choice for a new park. And in my opinion, this, along with the Infinity, may Cotta Land a bucket list park for us all when they open both of these coasters in 2023. So which 2023 coaster are you looking forward to most? 
I personally feel as if this class of coasters is better than the ones that open in 2022. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Please let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.